It is Sunday, February 28, 2021, the last day of February, but the first day of our week. Welcome into the Early Edge Powered by Sportsline. I am your host, the coach, and today is all about Tiger Woods. Dug deep into my closet, got my teed up shirt, got my teed up hat. A lot of people at the WGC today, a lot of the players are going to be uh, dressed in red shirts, black pants, and we have bonus picks today because Rick Run Good is here. Now, before you say anything, we know we had an awful day on Saturday. We get it. But our week, we look at the big picture because we do this every single day, 34, 21, and 2 in the last seven days. That's great no matter where you go. But it's all about what we do next. So let's bring in our cappers because we've got a lot to get to. Oh, oh, oh. Rick, run good. Rick G is back. Good morning, sir. Coach, good morning. Uh, we are getting into a, a bit of a golf groove now. It's good to talk to you yeah. as many times during the week as possible. So this is great. Looking forward to it. The more Rick G we get, the more we like it. But I would be remiss if I didn't know that if we give this man right next to us a day off, just one single solitary day, the world comes to an end. Maestro, thank God you're back. Coach, great to be back. Uh, good morning to you. And uh, let's get it. We got a lot to get to. We certainly do. Don't forget about the Perfect Parlay Contest. If you go to our YouTube page and you leave your best bet in there every single day and one of our cappers goes perfect, then you have uh, the possibility to be eligible to win a year-long subscription to Sportsline. And we've been giving a lot out uh, as of late. Let's get into our storylines that could affect the betting lines today. Rick G, let's start with you. Yeah, so we're down at the Concession Golf Club for the final day of the WGC Workday, and the word of the day for me is chaos. I mean, we have seen the concession, uh, affectionately dubbed the concussion, really bite back on some of these golfers this week. We saw Colin Morikawa on Saturday. He was an absolute world beater until his final six holes, and he came back to the field. Uh, essentially, the, the first couple of holes are already slapping guys in the face. It's going to be very difficult, and I know one of my favorite Sunday pastimes is live betting, the winner as things change throughout the day. And I think we're going to see huge changes. So embrace the volatility, embrace the chaos. And I think some of the guys further down the board, further down the leaderboard, have a good chance on Sunday. I think we're going to see a lot more events coming to this golf course because from every standpoint, gambling, entertainment, whatever it is, this golf course has been amazing. All right, yeah. Maestro, what do you have for us today? You know, at this point in the season, Coach, a lot of teams are wearing down in college basketball. You got a lot of key injuries. Maryland, Michigan State, a big one tonight. Both teams on fire. Maryland senior guard, Daryl Morsell. He had 12 points last time out. Uncertain if he's going to play. He's got a, a shoulder injury. And then in that big Iowa-Ohio State game, Kyle Young, the forward for Ohio State, had a concussion. He's a game-time decision. Iowa starting guard, the coach's son, Connor McCaffrey, with an ankle. Not sure if he's going to play, so a lot to follow today. Yeah, McCaffrey went down really hard in that game uh, the other night when they really struggled. Uh, he's got to have that movement for his game to be effective. Okay, thank you, Maestro. All right, let's get into our sports line app play of the day. We're going to college hoops today. We're going FIU plus 17 against Western Kentucky. This is a three Eastern tip. This is from Stephen O at the uh, the app. He says in his models, uh, FIU covers three-fourths of the time, 75% percent of the time in his simulations so take FIU against Western Kentucky you're getting 17 points okay to our boards and Rick G you know the drill give it to me all right, let's go to golf. I've got a couple of round four matchups. First off, Matthew Fitzpatrick plus 100 over Hideki Matsuyama. Hideki's playing weird this week. And when I say weird, I mean he's losing strokes off the tee. He leads the field around the green and he's gaining strokes putting. That is not how Hideki Matsuyama usually plays. That short game prowess uh, it has been carrying him to success this week. And that's something that's usually not sustainable. While Matthew Fitzpatrick has been an excellent ball striker, I'll take that side. It goes, at, it goes off at one. 10 Eastern time. And, and then Webb Simpson over Brooks Kepka. You know, Brooks Kepka dealing with the neck, dealing with the back, trying to get loose all day on Saturday. But I'm more focused on Webb Simpson, who is the guy. He is the path to one of these guys further down the board coming back and winning this golf tournament. He's been one of the best players from Atita Green this week, and he's not even putting as well as we normally see. So if he can find even an average putter for Webb Simpson, who's one of the best putters on tour, if he can find a hot putter, I think he gives himself a real chance. So I'm taking him over Brooks Kepka uh, at plus 110. That goes off at 140 Eastern. And then coach, we were talking about this last night on the First Cut podcast. I think Webb Simpson is the only bettable number in single Single digits if you're looking for an outright winner on Sunday. Yeah, I think you're spot on with that. It does feel like we could have one guy 
really come in and shoot low like Tony Finau did a week ago and steal the trophy from somebody else. Who better than Webb Simpson at plus 800? All right, Maestro, the floor, my friend. It is yours. Okay, let's start in college basketball. I really like this play. NC State, they've won three in a row. They just beat Virginia. This team has come to come together. They're buying in, and they're hosting a pit team that has not only lost seven of eight, but their top, their number two and number three scores left the program since they last played. And this includes the point guard and also their best defender. NC State has been forcing almost 14 turnovers per game last three games, and now Pitt is going in there without their point guard. I laid six and a half. It's up to seven. I would still lay it with the Wolfpack. And then we talked about Ohio State, Iowa. You know, Ohio State is coming off two losses. They're coming home. This is a spot they have to win. Regardless of whether Kyle Young plays, I think they can get it done because Iowa in the big games against Michigan, against Illinois, against Gonzaga, in these step-up games, they just have not been able to do it. They're a good offensive team, but against the elite, and I do believe Ohio State is elite, uh, I think the Buckeyes get it done today. And then in the NBA, the Houston Rockets have lost 10 straight. There's no Victor Oladipo uh, tonight, and he actually had a great game last time out, 27 points. He looked really good. They won't have him. The Grizzlies are coming to town. The Grizzlies are very good in the paint without Christian Wood. I think they're going to feast inside. So I took the Grizzlies at plus one last night. It's flipped. They're a small favorite, still like the Grizzlies. And then two plays in the Bulls game at Toronto. Toronto does not have Pascal Siakam. At Tampa Bay, I should say. Uh, they don't have Siakam. The Bulls had won three straight. They had the lead on the Suns in the fourth quarter. Then they had a, a slew of terrible turnovers and lost the game. But they're playing well and on the road as road dogs this season. Nine and two against the number. I took the Bulls plus six and a half. It's coming down. I still like the Bulls. And then Kobe White. This guy has gone over four and a half rebounds. Six of the last seven. And he's not playing the the true point guard spot that he was earlier. They said they don't want him to just always initiate the offense. They want him attacking. They want him more aggressive. Since then, he's averaging over six rebounds a game. His number still at four and a half rebounds go over four and a half for Kobe White. One of the great things you've done this in this incredibly difficult handicapping season is to find these little pockets and these little games and these little nuggets. And today you have five, which is amazing. By the way, I forgot to tease at the top of the show. That just because M squared isn't here doesn't mean that I didn't reach out this morning and get a couple of bonus NASCAR plays. So the fact that you're here in the podcast, you're welcome. Let's put it up. Grab your paper. Grab your pencil. Here we go. Now, this is what I call as a recap. Let's start at the top with the maestro. He loves NC State. This number is hovered around six and a half or seven. I would jump on it now as it continues to go up. Ohio State. In that minus three and a half number, you you got something there, Maestro? Yeah, Coach. I just wanted to interrupt you on that Ohio yeah. State. If you're a little uh, queasy about playing it now that the number has jumped to three and a half, you could look at the money line with Ohio State. Big Ten home favorites, fifty-eight and twenty-one straight up this season. And as you know, that juice will be a little higher, but the juice is always it's worth the squeeze. You're damn right it is. All right, here we go. Back to the recap. Bulls plus four and a half. Uh, this thing continues to come down. Jump on the number. That's why we give you the early edge. Grizzlies, minus three. Look at how these numbers are moving based off what we had even last night. That's why they're paying attention to us. Kobe White, over four and a half rebounds. Then Rick G in golf. Uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick, over Hideki. That's a plus 100. Webb Simpson, over Brooks, plus 110. And if you want to sprinkle a little bit on a winner today, Webb Simpson to win at plus 800. Then M Squared sent these two in from the – I, got, I wrote this down to make sure I got it right. The Dixie Vodka 400 in Miami. What? Kurt Busch over Amarola, plus 110. Austin Dillon over Mr. Wallace, minus 125. And then finally, our sports line app play of the day. FIU, college basketball, getting 17 against Western Kentucky. I'm not a math major, but that's a lot of picks. You've got your marching orders. Our week starts today. Let's take every single ticket straight. To the pay window. For Rick Run Good, Rick G, for the Maestro, for the Jeweler, I am the coach. Let's get it. The only place for your daily early edge. Good luck.